Hello and thanks for tuning in to In the News here at GlobalTalkRadio.com. Well, for small businesses selling to larger businesses, how exactly do you go about building your credibility? How do you engage with potential customers and create and set that agenda? Well, in the absence of an established brand, many small businesses have to win new customers by harnessing and marketing, email marketing, and social marketing tools to maximize the effect. And to tell us more about how this is done, we've invited an expert to join us today. It's Terry Forsey of Terry Forsey Consulting. He's joining us from the UK. And Terry, welcome to the program. I'm very, well, very pleased to be here. Thank you. Well, first of all, um, well, now, smaller businesses that market solutions in the business-to-business arena, they can't really count on... Uh, success and results from brand marketing like the larger companies uh, you know as a, I believe as, as you told me as a strategy that just doesn't work and there are a number of reasons why um, let's talk a little bit about that and brand marketing first uh, could you talk okay. about uh, now small businesses who are lacking that brand identity they have to they have to work differently they can't just go out and get that brand recognition can you first of all talk a little bit about that Indeed. What you'll find is that um, most small businesses are started, particularly in the technology space where I work, are started by technicians, not marketeers. And therefore, what they tend to do is they tend to copy the form of marketing they see all around them, which is brand marketing. The problem with brand marketing is you've got to have a recognition of that brand. And in the absence of that, you've got to put the customer at the center of your marketing. And that means that you've got to market yourself by describing not just who you're marketing to, but the problems that they will have. Now, most small businesses don't think like that. They think about promoting features and benefits. The problem is, in the absence of a strong brand, people never get on to talking about or listening to uh, the features and benefits. So what, what small businesses need to do is to start focusing on describing the problems that customers have um, identifying clearly the impacts of those problems within their business and then describe the capabilities that they have in their organization that can help those customers solve those problems. If you do it that way, the, cus- the customers will say, ah, that guy understands my business, he understands the problems I've got, I may not recognize the name, but he must have experience and credibility to be able to work with me. And that's a, a technique that we call selling solutions. You focus very heavily upon the customer's problem. And then to support your your marketing, your credentials are supported by proof in terms of case studies, customer references, and, of course, your own experience. Well, so this is really quite different from from, um, what you're exposed to before you start promoting your own business, right? Because when you look at other advertising, they basically use brand recognition to lead into their advertisement. But you've got to actually do it opposite. Then you're putting the customer's problem first, so, so that I, are they seeing themselves in that commercial then first, or that advertisement when you're promoting what you do as a small Absolutely. business? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so, so you, would not, you would not put your brand there. You would describe the customer's problems, and you would describe the impacts of those problems. For, and then you would go on to describe the sorts of uh, skills or services or expertise that would solve those problems. If you do it that way, then the customers will listen to that and go, hey, that guy really understands my business. I should be talking to him about my business, not I should be buying what they have. Because what you'll find is that in business, people don't buy on wants or whims. They buy because they have a real need. In consumer marketing, you like the look of a new iPhone or a new iPad, you'll go out and buy it, not because you need it, Mm. because you want it. That's completely different in business. Business spends money to solve problems. And unless you prove you understand those problems, people won't spend money with you. It's really as simple as that. Okay, so just putting the customer really at the center of the marketing proposition, I guess it's, it's a different hierarchy as well then, right? So instead of putting the brand first, the small businesses need to turn around. They put the customer first. Could you talk a little bit then again, expand that hierarchy? So the customer sees himself first, and is the next step then you, you introduce to them what the problem is and go from there? That's right. In, in the traditional brand world, the hierarchy would be the brand followed by the product, followed by the feature, the benefits, and ultimately the price proposition. In, in selling solutions world, the hierarchy would be the customer, the pain or the problem, followed by the impact, then the capabilities, and finally, and finally, the solution that I bring to the table. Now, Terry, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself. How, how do you help small businesses? 
Uh, I run a sales and marketing consultancy exclusively for small business. My goal is to turn profit into software. Uh, all my customers are um, software companies, and my, my, my engagement with them is to help them understand the business problems they solve for their customers and to bring that proposition to their customers and help those companies really make profit. I can honestly say that to 2011, every single one of my customers grew in both turnover and profit. Boy, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> that that's that is definitely the kind of of consultant I would like to work with. Do you uh, do you work with people um, across the across the globe? Yep, I'm based in the UK. The majority of my customers tend to be in the UK, but I have customers in Pennsylvania, in Mumbai, in Australia, and in New Zealand as well. So yeah, across the globe. And how do people get a hold of you? Uh, is a website a good start, or what would you like? Your website's a great start. www.terryforsey.com. That's T E R R Y F O R S E Y dot com. Brilliant. We've been speaking with Terry Forsey of Terry Forsey Consulting. And again, uh, we'll put a link up there to your website, Terry. Thanks very much for being part of our program. It's a pleasure. Thanks for asking me.